right, Survivors, Polly Jr. here. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. It is Saturday the 13th of summer in the game, and in real life, it is Valentine's Day. At least at the time of this recording, it's Valentine's Day. I might be uploading this a day or two later, but there you go. Happy Valentine's Day, past and present and future, and we have something for, uh, for Leah here. Happy Valentine's Day, Leah. I got you a pinky lemon. <laughs> Whatever the heck that is, but it's perfect because he's got a little red heart up there, which is typical around this time, isn't it? I hope she likes it. Leah? I used to find rain depressing when I lived in the city, but here in Stardew Valley, it's beautiful. Oh, it sure is. It sure is beautiful. You know what, Pinky? Sorry, but you're cramping my style. You gotta get out of here. I need to give... There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Happy Valentine's Day. And what can we give her? I did buy her ice cream. I don't think she likes ice cream very much. Uh, Happy Valentine's Day? Hmm, I guess everyone has different tastes. No, she doesn't. <laughs> Dang it. Can I give you something else? How about an orange? It's too late. It's too late. I blew it. All right, well, we do have Pinky Lemon. Let's go put Pinky Lemon down here. Uh, right between the chicken and the skeleton. There we go. Wilson, you like Pinky Lemon? Of course he does. Oh, happy Valentine's Day to you, to you too, pal. Whoops. I did not want to pick that up. Ah, what's going on here? What's going on here? How do I get this back on the table? Uh, I don't know. I'm just here. Here you go. Have a bowl. Um, all right. So let me get organized here, and then we're gonna head. Um, oh, let's check the melons. Check the melons. I think the melons are up, guys. Yes. Yes. Finally, lovely big melons. Look at them all. Oh no! Don't eat one. Don't eat them. Save it for later. We need a golden star. Melon, and we got one right there. We got plenty of them, actually. Holy smokes, guys. This is amazing. So now we can go and donate these to the Quality Crops Bundle at the Community Center, thereby completing the entire pantry, which will reward us with the greenhouse. Yay! Finally, I've been waiting for these lovely melons to get lovely. And now here they are, and that's the greenhouse. It's going to be all fixed up magically by fairies or something. I don't know. So I do have a lot of chores to do. Oh, my gosh. Lousy day. So let me get organized here, and then and then we'll go make that donation. But I've got a few things to take care of, like the animals and put all this stuff away. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Do we have any mail or anything today? No. No mail. Oh, a new baby duckling has hatched. His name is Geppo. That's fine, because we're not keeping him anyway. Not for long. We're going to sell him just like the last one. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, uh, Quack. I know we keep selling your children, but, uh, you know, a guy's got to make a living. Got this whole big barn to pay for. And look at all the, the hay you guys eat. We just can't feed all these mouths, you know what I'm saying? We're going to probably have to sell some of these chickens, too, I think. I don't know. All right. Anyway, let's grab some of that hay. You know what we need to do? We might have to refill that silo before winter. I mean, it's summer right now, so we have time. But I think it's getting kind of low. Okay. I think all the chores are done. And somebody didn't give me an egg today. I'm, I'm one egg shy. Holy smokes. That lightning just struck my little uh, walk over here. Jeepers. That was close. All right, what we need to do now is grab a gift for Alex. It's Alex, um, it's his birthday today. I guess we can give him mayonnaise. We have the five golden lovely melons, and we have a melon here for Sebastian, who wants to throw it against the mountain and get some of his frustrations out. And we have a Nautilus fossil to bring to Gunny. So we're going to do that as well today. Where can we put this milk? I'll go run into the house real quick. All right, first stop should be well. Let's check the uh, let's just check the calendar real quick here and see. Yeah, birthday today for Alex, and then we don't have to worry about another birthday for a few days. So let's go find Alex. Now he lives with the old couple George and uh, Evelyn. Oh, what's going on here? Oh no, Doc Harvey's checking George. Okay, George, I want you to take a deep breath for me. Mm-hmm. Turn around, please. George, I'll be honest with you, you need to make some changes in your lifestyle if you want to stay healthy. I'd like you to reduce your sodium intake and try to get some moderate exercise with your arms. I know what's best for me. Who do you think you are telling me how to live my life? I'm your doctor, George. That's who I am. I think it was a rhetorical question, Doc. 
And I went to school for eight years so I could learn how to help people stay healthy. And alive, George. And alive. I, I just overheard. Sorry. Oh. I'm sorry, but you shouldn't be here. These checkups are supposed to be private. Oh, right. Sorry, Doc. I won't tell anyone. Not so fast. I'd like to get a second opinion from this young man. Very well. Oh, boy. Um. Hey, listen. I'm not a doctor, but, you know, sometimes I play one on YouTube. So I think, um, George, you should follow Dr. Harvey's advice. It's the smartest thing to do. Thanks, Punchwood. <laughs> you see, George? I'm just trying to help you. Fine. I'll do what you say, Doctor. Thanks for your help, Punchwood. I appreciate it. Wow. Uh, anyway. So, oh, George, I'm glad to see you waving your arms around. Good job. It's awful cold, isn't it? What a rotten day. Oh, uh, he's changing the subject already. Hi, Evelyn. Is Alex around? When I woke up, I heard dripping from somewhere. I think the roof might be leaking. Oh, uh, have Alex check it out. By the way, happy Valentine's Day. Lovely couple. They've been together for so long. Oh, here's Alex working out. Oh, dude, really? Could you put your shirt on, please? Uh, hi, Alex. How's it going, buddy? Ugh, can't talk. All right, well, while you lift, I, I have something for you. Um, happy birthday. Have some mayonnaise. Oh, is it my birthday today? I guess it is. Thanks. This is nice. Four hearts out of eight. I think he likes it. You can never tell with these young people. Um, all right, well, I'm going to leave you now. Have a good workout. It's smelly and sweaty. I got to get out of here. Oh, something else is going on. It's Alex. Wait a second. He was just behind us. Man, that kid's fast. That's a good boy, Dusty. He's talking to the dog. I didn't know the dog had a name. You might be the only one around here who understands me. No one else has seen the kind of stuff you and I have. Um, hi, Alex. No, I wasn't eavesdropping. <laughs> Sorry to frighten you. Punchwood, did you overhear me talking? Uh, what, to the dog? Well, yes, I heard everything. Honesty is the best policy. Oh, boy. Maybe not in this case. I don't really like to talk about it, but I guess I'll explain. Have you ever wondered why I live with my grandparents? You see, my father wasn't a good guy. He, well, he ruined everything for me and my mom. Half the time he was gone, the other half he'd drink all night and tell me I'm worthless, that I'd never amount to anything. I think he resented me for being young, bitter because he'd wasted his youth doing nothing and had gotten nowhere in life. Well, that's my take on it anyway. Who knows what was going on in his mind. One day he left, and soon after that, Mom got sick and passed away. I had no choice but to move in with my grandparents. Ah. Huh. Well, I'm sorry to hear, Alex. You seem like someone I can trust. That's why I'm telling you this, Punchwood. I don't want any sympathy. If there's one good thing about my past, it's that it made me strong. It sure did. And that's it, pal. Keep your chin up. Now, let me show you what Dusty will do for a barbecued steak. Okay. Oh, look at that. Dusty's freaking out. Ha! Look at him slobbering. I think he might like steak as much as I do. Aw. Good boy. Are you going to toss it to him? You're going to tease him all day. Wow. That was, um, that was eye-opening. There's Alex opening up and spilling his guts about, uh, his dad. It's the first time I've heard that. Well, that's good. It's good to get it off your chest, right? Good to let it out and talk to someone about it. Don't let it eat you up inside. All right, in we go. Hey, Gunny! Man, I haven't seen you in a long time. And by the way, I thought you guys were open 24-7. Why the new rules? Anyway, I got something to donate. It is a... It's this right here. Found it in the ocean. Let's stick it way over here. Perfect spot for it. All right. Now, do we get anything in return? Collect rewards. Yes, we do. We got pumpkin seeds. Plant these in the fall. Oh, good. Fall's coming up. Nine pumpkin seeds. That's perfect. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Have a good day, Gunny. Excellent. All right. What a day it's turning out to be. So now let's get over to the community center. And we will donate the, uh, the five lovely melons. And we have to deliver Sebastian's melon as well. I wonder if he's in the saloon. Sometimes he comes in here and hangs out. Hey, guys. Gus is cleaning up. Louie's checking in on him. We got, uh, Sam, um, Sam, right? Nothing like a nice cold Joja Cola on a sopping wet day. 
Yeah, hey Sam, have you seen Sebastian around? He's probably at home. Alright, I'll go check that out. He's way far to the north. We'll go do that first. Oh, hi, Emily. It never rains in Calico Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. Oh, yeah, I've met your friend. She says hi, by the way. I wish I could have visited her today. Uh, well, you still can. I'm pretty sure Pam's driving today, even in the rain. All right, let's get up to see Sebastian. Hopefully he's home, and I want to get inside before they lock up for the night. Uh, hi, hello everybody. Hello, Robin. How you doing? Hi, Demetrius. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. Oh, gosh. Uh, you did remember, right? Hmm. If strigolactone levels could be increased, would it have a proportional effect on mycorazole growth? Uh, I guess that answers the question. <laughs> oh, sorry. I was pondering some data and I didn't notice you there. Yeah, okay. Um, anyway, I think that answers my question. You do know it's Valentine's Day, right? Do you need anything? Uh, nope, I guess you got it under control. Oh, here she comes. Here comes your wife. I hope you've thought of something. Um, all right, where is Sebastian? He lives, he's got his room down here. Hi, Robin. Happy Valentine's Day. Our house is in such a beautiful area, don't you think? Yes, I do. And by the way, um, Demetrius said happy Valentine's Day. He wanted me to give you this. Thanks, this is really nice. Yeah, you should remember to thank him, but don't get too specific about it, okay? I love the fresh air of the mountains. Yeah, good. That's what I'm talking about. Just forget it ever happened. Sebastian, it's not here. Oh. Okay, he might be outside wandering. He does that. Unless he's up somewhere up here in the house, somewhere watching TV. Oh, no, that's uh, someone's bedroom. All right, I'm going to go outside and look for him. Sometimes he goes over to the lake. i got to give him this, uh, this melon so we can smash it on the mountain. It's very important. Well, he's not at the lake. I don't think he goes to the other side of the lake. Um, I wonder if he snuck in the back. we got some wormies here. Let's uh, see what they're hiding. Mixed seeds. All right. Well, I don't know where he is. Maybe he's going to be down at the saloon later. But let's go and make our donation. And then we'll uh, we'll track, try to track him down later. So I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. This will finish the pantry. And I think we're going to be pretty much done with everything here with the exception of a few dyes, right? I think so. Okay, here we go. Quality crops bundle. Five lovely golden melons. And there it goes. The little guy in the balloon. And let's check the reward. We got a preserves jar. Wait, what? Preserves jar? <laughs> Holy smokes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's attack of the little jimble. What are they called again? And we're done here. We'll return to the other world. Okay. Oh, man. Look at it. It's done. It looks beautiful. You guys do good work. They stocked up the larder. I don't understand what you're saying, but he's got a little star do drop thingy. Yeah, we only have one one thing left to do, and that will be the uh, the dyes, the dye bundle. Oh, sorry. Am I in your way? Oh, you want to follow? Aw, love you too, pal. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, yeah, this is the last thing to do over here, right? The bulletin? Yeah, we have the chef's bundle, the fodder bundle. And the Enchanter's Bundle. Yeah, it's not the Die Bundle. That's just one of these that we already completed. All right, well, we'll work on those. But for right now, I'm super curious about what's going to go down with that greenhouse. I mean, I love having another preserves jar. That's fantastic. But I want the dang greenhouse. Let's go to the saloon and see if Sebastian is here now. I mean, we got to give it to... There he is, Sebastian. Stop. Wait. I hope we're not having mushroom casserole tonight. Oh, I don't know what you're having, but here, this will make it better no matter what it is. Your melon. Hey, thanks for the help. This is just what I wanted. Seven hearts out of eight. All right, go smash it against the mountain, kid. Have fun. Goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's get home. I think we accomplished everything we wanted to today. There's only one thing left to do, and that is check on the greenhouse. All right, let's go put butt away. Close all the doors. Something strange is going to happen tonight, I guarantee it. All right, bud, you stay right there. Okay, nothing yet. Obviously, nothing yet. Let's grab the oak resin. Might as well check the cave. See what we got here. We got some uh, blackberries and spice berries. Very good. I'm going to clean the place up a little bit. 
make it look nice for the uh, fairies or whatever the heck's gonna come tonight and, and build the greenhouse. How many pieces of hay? Only 57. Yowza! We really gotta stock up and you do that with this. I liked having this here for the uh, for the for the ducks and the chickens to come in here and graze because they do like to graze on the wild stuff. But you know what? There's a whole bunch of stuff over here too, isn't there? All this right here needs to be chopped up. Oh yeah, look at that hay. I'm gonna fill up that silo a little bit. There we go. Okay, that's a little better. You know, grab that orange. Yes, it's getting late. I know I'm just wasting time. I just can't wait. Well, actually, I can. Oh. Sheesh, the hops are up, too. I didn't even notice. I was so excited about the melons. So let's grab the hops. These must bloom or bloom or harvest or whatever or grow every single day. Because I'm pretty sure I harvested them yesterday. Oh, I like it. We're going to make lots of beers. Because I likes the beer. And we have another preserves jar. I guess we can squeeze it in right there for now. And that's it. 1240. Let's get to bed and see what happens with this greenhouse. Leah's already in bed. Aw, look at her. Sleeping. Adorable. Alright, let's go to sleep for the night. Ooh, there they are. The, the Juminos. That's what they're called. The Juminos. They're building it with magic. Jumino magic. Awesome. And that's it. We don't get to see the inside until next episode. <laughs> Sorry. Here endeth day 13th of summerth, year 2th. At least we got the thing made up. So I'm going to look into the greenhouse and figure out what we can do with it. I'm pretty sure it's just like an open space where we can grow um, any crop at any time. It doesn't matter what season it is. And I'm going to think about what crop we're going to put in there. And maybe multiple crops. I don't know. If you have any suggestions, put it down in the comments. And that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.